Back in April, I carried out a project with my 7th grade students in which they raised funds to purchase a bicycle for a school child that walked more than two hours a day to get to and from school. It went really well, except when I arrived at the school in Uganda, I was introduced to five other kids that needed bikes. Working with my childhood friend Tim Crick, we launched a crowdfunding campaign to raise $1,500 to buy 10 new bikes. We found a wonderful local nonprofit called Co-op Uganda, which assembles the bicycles and then distributes them to recipients in need, mainly to students, to health workers, and to entrepreneurs. The bicycles are extremely sturdy. They're, these are $150, and as you can see, there's all kinds of features on there to make sure that they are long-lasting and that they can be used for a variety of uses. Uh, this is especially important for these students. For first uh, effect, for assisting us uh, with uh, $100, $100, $100, $1,500 $1, right? yeah. yeah. to enable us to deliver bicycles to the students, we help them to uh, live a school. So as you can see here, we loaded up the bicycles into the van and we <laughs> headed out um, from Jinja up north to go and visit these schools to distribute the bikes. Only learning firsthand why bikes are more dependable than automobiles. Uh, we have a slight breakdown issue, which we will be handling as soon as possible. We got our car fixed. Um, Sula and his team were expert at fixing it, and we are off to the first of our two schools to deliver these bikes. No stopping us now. These bikes are especially important for these students because they travel a long way to get to school. Some of them are going for 90 minutes or two hours each way just to get to school. By the time they get to school, they are exhausted. They're missing lessons uh, because they have to help out at home and it's really hurting their education. So then it was time to uh, amass our students and to give them their bicycles to help them further uh, their education. Nice Simple as that. You like it? Um, how many of you have to walk more than one hour to get to school? Raise your hand. All of you will walk more than one hour. What's, what, how's it going to help you, the bikes? It will help me in reaching school first. Reaching school on time? Yes. Okay, great. And what about you? How will this bike help you the most? It, help, it will help me to reach at school and back to home quicker. Great. Get to school and I'm very grateful because I'll be in school in time and finding the morning lessons. Be here for the morning lessons. Thanks. Okay, great. What, what do you think your parents are going to say when you come home today with a bicycle? You think they'll be surprised? They will be surprised. And next it was off to our second school, St. John's, to see the students getting their bikes off of the van. Um, a lot of these kids. Um, have nice. really suffered from one? this walk to and from the school. Their from? health, their safety, yeah. and their How education. This changes out every everything. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Cause and Effect Foundation, which has been able to cut out the, the fundraising that has enabled now uh, six of our children get bicycles. With the acquiring of this bicycle, they will be able to move to school very fast and return home early and to even improve on their academic performance because they will have more time to concentrate. May the good Lord bless you abundantly and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you very much. So once again, special thanks to Pastor Tim Crick and to all of our donors who've made this wonderful project possible.